Prince Harry wrote his very hurt father a deeply personal letter ahead of Prince Philip's funeral dash because he couldn't reach him any other way in the wake of his explosive Oprah Winfrey interview. Prince Harry wrote his father a deeply personal letter in which he promised to respect the institution before he flew back to the UK for the Duke of Edinburgh's funeral. The Duke of Sussex, 36, penned the note to Prince Charles after their relationship hit rock bottom in the wake of his explosive Oprah Winfrey interview with Meghan Markle last month. His decision to reach out to his father also came after he accused Prince Charles of refusing to take his calls. In his letter, Prince Harry outlined his reasons for leaving his position as a senior royal in order to emigrate to California and said he would respect the institution, sources told The Mirror. The Duke of Sussex, who decided to reach out to his father as he prepared to reunite with his family for the first time after stepping back as a senior royal, was forced to write letters after a complete communication breakdown with Prince Charles, sources claim. A royal source told The Mirror. He wrote a deeply personal note to his dad to try and set things straight but tensions are still running high and things haven't exactly ironed out the way he had hoped. There had been a kind of unspoken agreement between everyone to park whatever has been on each person's mind, and solely concentrate on supporting the Queen ahead of Prince Philip's funeral. The feeling inside the camp was that it wasn't the time nor the place to go over things, especially at such an emotional time for everybody involved. During his interview with Winfrey last month, Prince Harry said he felt very let down by his father Prince Charles, accusing him of refusing to take his calls and then cutting him off financially when he and his wife emigrated. Asked about his relationship with Prince Charles, Harry said they were now speaking again, adding, there is a lot to work through there, you know? I feel really let down, because he's been through something similar. He knows what pain feels like and Archie's his grandson. I will always love him, but there's a lot of hurt that's happened. And I will continue to make it one of my priorities to try and heal that relationship. When asked about if he remains close to Prince William he replied, I love William to bits. He's my brother. We've been through hell together. I mean, we have a shared experience. But we're on different paths. Meghan also claimed that a relative of Prince Harry's asked him how dark their unborn child would be, with the Duchess claiming Archie being mixed race was a problem for the royals after Winfrey asked her if they were worried their son would be too brown. The former suit star said she would not name the person because it would be too damaging for them but she confirmed that the Duke was asked the question dash how dark his skin might be when he's born dash by family. Earlier today a source revealed that Prince Charles walked and talked with Prince Harry at Windsor Castle before taking part in a family summit with both his sons after Prince Philip's funeral. It is not clear what was discussed at the meeting, but the source said they began the long task of looking at condolence letters sent from around the world. The talks come as speculation whirls around when the Duke of Sussex will fly back to LA to be with pregnant wife Meghan Markle. Prince Harry arrived in the UK on April 11, reportedly with his own US private security team. According to The Telegraph, the Duke was met at Heathrow Airport by Met Police officers, who helped whisk him off to the royal residence of Frogmore Cottage, where he was placed into quarantine ahead of the funeral. The Prince is said to have booked a return flight on British Airways. The airline has just one direct flight to LA, which left Heathrow at 4.30 p.m. It is not clear if Harry left on that flight. Prince Charles has since traveled to his Welsh cottage in the Brecon Beacons to privately grieve the loss of his father.